Does your water utility get too many customer service calls? Silly question, I know you do. What percentage of those calls are dealing with high bill complaints? Well, the average water utility says that about 50 to 70% of the calls that they're dealing with are customers saying, my bill doesn't actually represent what I actually use. Today, we're gonna to provide you with some effective ways to cut those call times and call volumes in half. Let's dive into it. Welcome to the Smart Water Show, brought to you by Badger Meter. I'm your host, Maurice Blackwell, and this is the show where we discuss your day-to-day -day water utility problems and find the most effective technology solutions for you. I love asking my water utility customers the question, what are the biggest things that you want to overcome this year, the biggest problems? The list changes from one utility to the next, but there's one problem that's always on the top five of every utility too many customer service calls. And as previously stated, the lion's share of those are to do with high bill complaints. Well, let's talk about the genesis of the problem. One, customers have no idea of how much water they use on a daily basis. Related to that, we don't give them the tools necessary to gain that understanding. Secondly, most customers have leaks that go on for extended periods of time undetected. Most of my customers that put in new AMR or AMI systems are always extremely surprised to find out that between 5 and 25% of all of their customers have leaks. Well, today I'm going to share with you three strategies that my customers have put into place that drastically cut down on the number of calls related to high bill complaints. The central theme of all three of these strategies are the power of data. Strategy number one, proactive notification notifying your customer prior to them receiving their bill. Now this can be done if you have an AMR system or an AMI system. They both will alert you of customer leaks. However, the AMI system is a bit more effective because you can notify the customer within 24 hours of them having a continuous usage. I've seen this practice effectively put into action by one of my fixed network customers. They are located in the Southwest and dealing with severe droughts from year to year. They decided to deploy a cellular fixed network in order to get a better handle on the overall water management of the system. The conservation manager was extremely excited about what he can now do with all this additional data at his fingertips. He decided to take this proactive approach. Every Monday morning, he was going to call all the customers that were on his leak report list. It's now Monday morning. He's ready to show his customers this awesome new feature of their fixed network. He calls the first customer and informs them that they have a leak and gives them some of the ideas of where to start checking for that leak and then how to resolve it. The customer is extremely grateful for this call from the water utility. This same scenario goes on for the next few calls until he gets to this one particularly ornery customer. He's going through his normal explanation of how the new system supplies additional data and has flagged them as a potential leak customer. The customer abruptly cuts him off and says, pretty angrily, I do not have a leak. The conservation manager politely explains that the system has shown them that they've got a continuous usage going on within their property. The customer again cuts them off and says, I would know if I had a leak. I'm a plumber. Conservation manager tries one more time. He says, well, the system informed us that last Friday, starting at 6 p.m., you've had about a 400 gallon per hour usage ongoing and it's still going on right now. The customer says, hold on a minute. About five minutes passes. The customer comes back to the phone, uh, kind of out of breath at this point, but says, thank you so much for calling. He says, last Friday, I planted a new tree and he goes, I left the holes on just to give the tree a little extra water, and I completely forgot about it. I guess the moral of this story is the power of data can help our customers. Strategy number two, access to data. Empowering your customer service reps by giving them access to the powerful data they need. This reminds me of a great quote by the former CEO of HP, Carly Fiorina. She said, the goal is to turn data into information and information into insight. 
When you deploy a fixed network today, you can get up to 15 minute interval data. That 15 minute interval data, when used correctly, is extremely insightful. When customer service reps don't have the proper data, a large percentage of those high bill disputes result in field investigations or costly truck rolls. According to the billing clerk at one of our customers in the Midwest, prior to deploying their cellular AMI system, the customer service calls could take up to one complete business day to resolve. The process consisted of the initial customer call, scheduling an appointment for someone to go out to investigate, dispatching a field technician to go out and investigate the truck roll, field tech reporting back what the results were of the investigation, five, logging that information, six, someone having to call the customer back again. After deploying their AMI system, the customer service call now only takes on average minutes. The customer service rep now looks into the analytical software, explains to the customer how they use the water, and then they don't have to roll the truck. The utility billing clerk told us a pretty funny story that I'd like to share with you. They had an interesting situation come up over one of the typical frigid Ohio winters. One of their customers spends their winters away at a warmer climate and had a neighbor coming over to feed and water the horse on a daily basis. So the neighbor would come over about 10 o'clock every day to do this. Upon the return, the customer got a kind of high water bill compared to what they thought they were going to get. They came in and said, there's no way we could have used this water. We've been away for three months. Using the Beacon AMA analytical software, the billing clerk went in, saw what had happened, and printed out a graph for the customer. They showed the customer that on one particular day, water started flowing at 10 a.m. And that water didn't stop flowing until 11 a.m. the next day. Well, looking at that, that graph, the customer understood what had probably happened, promptly paid their bill, and went on about their way. This is just another example of the power of data. Strategy number three, self-service tools, providing your customers with the data they need. In a world where technology is all around us, our customers' expectations are that they can have access to their usage. They take it for granted that this information is somehow available to them. These self-service tools come in two flavors. One, a web portal, which could be accessed through any standard internet browser. And then number two would be a native iOS or Android smartphone app. I love both of these solutions. However, I really love the smartphone app because according to the Pew Research Center, 81% of adults in the US have a smartphone, meaning you need to take advantage of this very convenient way to communicate with your customers. Now, I'm planning a future video where I'm going to go in great depth about what these tools can offer, but on a high level, they give a customer some quick usage patterns, maybe the week over week usage, and they allow them to look at their historical usage, as well as being able to provide them with proactive leak notifications. If you have any questions about today's topic, feel free to ask a question in the comment section below, and I'd be happy to provide you with an answer. If you'd rather send a private message or you have any questions related to metering or meter reading systems that I can help you with, be sure to connect with me on LinkedIn. Our question of the day, what percentage of your customer service calls are related to high bill complaints and what things have you done to effectively decrease that percentage? Let us know in the comment section below. If you found this content valuable, be sure to click the like button. Stay tuned for our next episode where we compare the two ways to purchase a fixed network, supply and install versus a network as a service contract. We'd like to thank you for watching this video and we'll catch you next time on the Smart Water Show.